G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a Zeus GTX 970 Strix model, and I just want to replace the thermal paste on this one. So it is relatively clean. It's been kept in a good, pretty darn good condition considering the age of the card. It is experiencing a bit of uh, GPU sag here, but that's not my concern at the moment. So to begin with, I'm going to take out these four Phillips head screws, and let's see if the copper cooler will come off from there. One there is the warranty sticker. And more than willing to leave. Fold that over. As I said, the board is in pretty good condition. Still looking nice and neat. That film paste had no good properties to it either. As it definitely was more than happy to leave. So what I'm going to do now is put on some isopropyl alcohol. So I've put some on here. Some on here. Grab some tissue paper. It is very stuck on. some plastic tool or a guitar, plastic guitar pick would be useful right now. I would have none there. In my other collection. I have one. There we go. Use the scratchy. What do you win? Lower GPU temperature, which is always a winner. That is the most stubborn thermal paste I've used in, or removed in quite a lot of long time. Go down here, it's probably gonna be about the same. You know, more than happy to leave when a small variety. We've stained the cooler. Pull this out and wiggle it back and forth. Move that out of the way. I wasn't expect this f expected this thermal paste to be as sticky as it is. Now I'm going to assume that toothbrush is not going to be strong enough. Nope. nope. Now I have to be fairly delicate here. I'm going to use a pair, a pair of tweezers. There are little capacitors there that I'm being very delicate with. Right here as well. Looking a fair bit better. It's still fairly stubborn.
There we go. Much happier now. I find it funny that this thermal paste replacement here on the launch of this video is basically about a week after the GTX 4070 has been released. And this one being the 970, similar, similar tiered card, quite a few years older. This was a pretty good value for money card when this first came out, all those time ago. Brilliant. So now I'm going to use some Arctic MX5 or MX4 thermal paste on there, just because that's what I've got on hand at the moment. Some of this down, smear it around. Go, okay, looking good. Too much thermal paste, some may say. So it's much better than what was there. Now what I like to do is reattach the fan and then if it reattached. I like to flip the PCB over the cooler and then line up the holes from there. So line up, push down. We are now attached. That's feeling much better. I can feel the friction of it or the thermal paste kind of kind of the suction of the thermal paste holding it down much better than what the other one did where it just completely dropped it because it was bone dry. 